bro, what was that? That game was an absolute disaster. I decided to not go to the drop-in community center hockey that was going on today because I was thinking to myself, you know, I missed the Tuesday game against Washington because there was some more hockey that I wanted to play in and missing two Canucks games in a row probably is not ideal. I know it's probably best for my own personal health and cardio to go to as much hockey playing as possible, but missing two straight Canucks games does not feel good, and when you had a game that was apparently as bad as the Washington game was, I'm looking forward to seeing the Canucks bounce back on the Hockey Hall of Fame night with the ceremony that they would give out to the Sedins and Roberto Luongo. Of course they chose the game against Florida to have this ceremony held. They had to. Roberto Luongo is a Panther and a Canuck at heart, and he had a heartfelt speech given out to the fans talking about his inclusion in the Ring of Honor and his exclusion amongst the names in the rafters, and I mean, what a guy. What an absolute classy gentleman right there Bobby Lou is. He always was, always will be, and I feel like that's not really in any contention at all. However, when it comes to the game that we had seen, I was thinking, you know, they sucked against Washington. They need to come back and showcase to everybody that they still are a team that is worthy of being one point out of the wild card. They have a chance here with the mojo of the building, the fans, the Deans, Luongo. They can go out there and they can shine against the Florida team that admittedly has not been as good as we thought Florida would be able to be right off the bat in 22-23. But no, they absolutely blow it after playing what was honestly a pretty bad first, like, 18 minutes of gameplay. This game was a disaster in more ways than one when it comes to the score sheet, when it comes to the personnel, when it comes to the gameplay that we had seen, because Vancouver held on to what was a 0-0 tie for the first 17-ish minutes of the game, and all it took was 59 seconds for everything to fall apart and for the Panthers to score three straight towards the end of that first period. How does that even happen? Like... You could very well say, oh, Lego, you're kind of incorrect there. The Canucks played a pretty bad first period. You could say that for sure. You had Carter Verhage, you had a breakaway in the first, like, minute of the game. Demko had to make the stop. Demko had a few really great saves early in the game. Snatching the puck out of midair with the glove. He had another chance where the guy was wide open in front. He stopped him with the pads. There was Matthew Kachuk, who got absolutely robbed by Demko, who tried to slip the puck in five hole. And Demko, in a very Luongo esque kind of fashion, drags the left pad along the ice and uses his momentum to shift the puck away. And then you have the Canucks defense, which comes out to play in the worst way possible. Luke Shen had a terrible giveaway behind his own goal line where he's trying to play the puck up to the winger. The problem is, the winger wasn't there. Dakota Joshua was supposed to be the guy there, but he left because he had no stick and he was trying to get a new one. Meaning that Luke Shen just kind of tossed the puck up to nobody, and eventually it's Matthew Kachuk who then scores afterwards. Give it a few seconds later and it's Ethan Bear who coughs the puck up in his own zone again and the puck finds itself over to Gustav Forsling, a former Canucks draft pick, that in which I'm still salty at Jim Benning for trading away because, yeah, he was sent away for Adam Clendenning and Clendenning was pretty much nothing for the Canucks. Meanwhile, Forsling is an NHL caliber defender. He ends up taking a shot and it goes in. I don't know if it went off a Canuck or something. John Shorthouse speculated that it went off a Bear and in, but I feel like Bear might have just been reacting in the way that he did because he turned the puck over at the very beginning of that play. And then you have another goal just a few seconds later. It's Ryan Lomberg who capitalizes on the Canucks not being able to clear the puck in front of their goalie. There's a shot made on the rush, Demko makes the save, and then he makes another save on the rebound, and then he makes a second save off a second rebound, and then it goes in because Lomberg just walks right in and shoves it into the open cage. Riley Stillman is facing Demko. He's the guy that's supposed to be trying to clear this puck away, but he completely loses all sense of responsibility in trying to take away what exactly the Florida Panthers have to shoot at. Demko then leaves the game, avoiding any pressure on his right leg. There's a lot of speculation saying that, oh, he might have popped his knee again, it might have been a torn thing, who really knows, but Demko left the game, he didn't return, Spencer Barton had to come into relief, and this was an absolute disaster. Like, Demko was gone. 
All it took was 59 seconds for the game to slip away from the Canucks' fingertips and for the team to completely lose out on their main starting goalie. And I'm saying main starting goalie kind of tongue-in-cheek because you know what the Canucks situation is like in goal right now, but either way, it doesn't get any better than that. The Canucks had so many opportunities where they had really nice passing plays, really nice zone time and pressure opportunities, but they just couldn't get things to go because you have the one pass that hops over a guy's stick. You have the one shot that just kind of gets stopped up pretty cleanly. There was a Henrik Sedin-esque play from Pedersen where he fed Quinn Hughes in probably the most beautiful passing play that we had seen all game from Vancouver, and Quinn just kind of shoots it into the glove of Spencer Knight. There was more offensive zone time that ended up looking similar where the Canucks just could not capitalize on the pressure they put on. It became 4 nothing when Matthew Kachuk goes down the wing. He centers. Eventually, there's a cross crease back on the open side and Bennett scores on the open cage. It's Tyler Myers trying to play goalie, but he completely misses it. Dakota Joshua scores, making it 4-1. to And this wasn't even really a good goal. It was kind of a fluke. Brandon Montour in a 4 nothing game pinches down on the boards, which opens up the side for a two-on-one opportunity. Dakota Joshua comes down. He's got Besser in the middle. Joshua tries to send it over to Besser, but instead of actually getting a proper pass through, he whiffs it on goal and it goes in off of Spencer Knight's pad. Like, that's not a good goal. No, it's not. That wasn't really a goal indicative of Dakota Joshua's skill or anything. It was just a really bad play. And that's the only goal the Canucks score. Make it 5-1 to one in the third period when you have an absolutely terrible play where Hoaglander tries to pass the puck across for Quinn Hughes. Quinn misses the pass. It goes off the boards. Kachuk then gets the loose puck and cross-creases it to Sam Bennett. And OEL is right there trying to take the pass away from Bennett. OEL ends up going face-first into the boards as a result while Bennett celebrates with the goal. This was not fun absolutely not fun, and I don't really know what else there is to say. I mean, hockey is hockey, right? And all it took is one minute for the team to lose, pretty much. And I know you could say, oh, they played X amount of games and X amount of nights. I think it's their fourth game and what is it, six days or something like that, which isn't ideal. And at the same time, Florida is a team that you could say it's supposed to be better than Vancouver, but like, I don't know. You lose out on your goalie. You lose out on all the pride that a lot of Canucks fans had at the beginning of this game, watching the Sedins and Luongo go out there, this was just unfortunate, and I don't really think there's anything else to say. I gotta go ease my soul a little bit with a movie or something. I don't know. I'd been playing Hut Champs as well today, and I'd been getting smoked. I know in the gameplay I like to show off that I win a lot, but nah, I'm not a good player. I don't think so, at least. Or there's a lot of imposter syndrome there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a good day. Really doesn't feel good. Lots of bad things going on with the Canucks and how everything else in my life seems to be going. But uh, yeah, no, I'm okay. No worries. No worries. Talk to the comments your thoughts about the Canucks and the Florida Panthers. The loss of Thatcher Demko, the loss on paper, the absolutely embarrassing showcase that we had seen. I mean, they tried, but it just wasn't good enough. Could it have been worse? I guess so, but it could have been a lot better too, so... Yeah, I don't know. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Social Social 99. And bye.